Hi, my loves, and welcome to Arcana Priestess. All right, you guys, so this is going to be your August reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. All right, guys, so for all of you guys that are new to the channel, welcome. For those of you guys that are returning, I'm so glad to have you. If you haven't already subscribed, feel free to subscribe, as that is always greatly appreciated. If you guys are interested in winning a free reading, there are a couple of options. So all of my subscribers on YouTube are entered in a giveaway every single month. And on Instagram, we do different giveaways every single week. So usually it's on Saturdays. I also have daily energies there. So whenever I feel called to do a daily energy, it's usually sometimes they're a minute. Most of the time they're about five to six minutes long. So if you guys are interested in more content or just having the chance to win free readings, free questions, free extendeds, then feel free to follow me on Instagram. The link will be in the description box below. I've also added my personal Instagram for those of you guys that are interested in getting to know me on a more personal level. I will also be sharing the journey of me launching my second business on there. So for those of you guys who are wanting to start a business or start a YouTube channel, because I'll be starting a second YouTube channel and I will be taking you guys along the process of me doing that. So feel free to follow me there. There's also stuff related to fashion, motivations, spirituality all that kind of stuff is what I will be posting over there all right guys so I have added a little list um, in the description box below and it is a list of tarot cards that I'm interested in so if any of you guys feel called to donate to the channel then you um, would just go to that list and pick whatever deck that you feel called to um, to purchase and then that deck would be sent to me so I just made that list because I did notice that a couple of other people had that and there is a huge difference when somebody gets you a gift and when you purchase the gift for yourself so from now on I was like I'm just gonna slowly get my decks whenever they were meant to get whenever they're meant to come towards me so that is the reason why I have that list there and I appreciate every single one of you who have already sent me decks and for those of you who in the future decide to send me them I thank you guys so much all right, guys, so we are just going to jump in with your reading now. Everything you need for personal readings will be in the description box below. For this entire month, I have a sale on the one question readings. So the one question readings are going to be on sale for 11 11. So feel free to take advantage of that if you feel called to. And otherwise, we're just going to jump right into your reading. Have a beautiful rest of your day, guys. Bye. Hey Leo and welcome to your reading. So we're going to go back to the way that I did the readings when I first started and I'm just going to pull cards. Whatever I see is what I'm going to say. So I did see the two of cups here. So if you are wondering whether the connection between you and another is mutual, then the answer is yes. So for those of you guys who um, are interested in the free reading giveaway, it ends today at 5 p.m. So you have a little bit uh, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So some of you guys have a little bit of a chance if you're not following me on Instagram and you haven't um, entered into the giveaway. The other day I actually did a live on Instagram. So I'm going to be doing something a little bit different, you guys. I'm going to be doing a live reading um, every week and it's going to be pop up. I'm not going to let you guys know when it is. That way I feel whoever is in the chat is... The ones that need the messages the most the ones that need the questions the most so i'm going to be giving away uh, 10 free questions 10 to 15 questions in a live pop-up reading so my instagram is in the description box below and if you would like to be part of that then definitely follow me there you can always put your notifications on so that you are notified of the um live because i'm definitely not going to be um letting you guys know in advance i just was called to just randomly do it pop up so yeah, that is all the information I have. So let's see. The Page of Pentacles here. Some of you have a, um, I'm hearing an ex that's coming to give you chump change. This person hasn't changed um, with the Five of Swords. Yeah, exactly. This person has not changed. And the Five of Wands, Seven of Wands even, you're being called to be defensive when this person comes back in here. Um, because some of you guys, you actually have new love that's coming in here. Others of you, the connection that you have is definitely... Um, on its way of going to the next level here but i do feel like you have an ex that's kind of coming in to stir the pot here i do feel like this person especially if it's been like i'm hearing less than a year so for some of you this person is definitely very much attached to you but some of you um it's like this person can feel your energy you, they can feel your energy being removed from them and because of that they are definitely wanting to come back in to um just to come back in 
For some of you, it's that they want to come back in because they just want to see if they can have you again. Others of you, they want to come back in and they have good intentions, but those intentions don't last. It's just like when you have, um, you have like a situation where somebody's like, okay, I promise I'll change and then they change. But then after like they get comfortable again with you, like after a month, they go back to the same old thing. So it's like their intentions may be pure right now, but for how long are those intentions going to be pure? It's kind of like what I am seeing here. But it does look like uh, those of you that are wondering within your finances, I do see that some of you may definitely be offered something. Um, and it's kind of like, take a look at who's offering you this. Are they offering you something that is going to benefit both of you or are they offering you something that is going to benefit them more than you and making it look as if it's going to benefit you too because some of you definitely have this energy of somebody wanting to ride off your back wanting to ride off the success that you've built for yourself it's like this person you are the king of pentacles and this person's coming in with a page of pentacles right some of you could actually be starting to mentor somebody or you may actually be finding a mentor if you're looking for a mentor So you're definitely starting off at a new job at the bottom, starting from the bottom to the top here. Um, I do feel like you're going to pick up on it very quickly here. If you are in competition for some sort of um, position in your job, or if you're competing for a person, know that you are going to come out on top. You are going to win at the end of the day here. The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, at the end of the day, you are going to win, especially if it relates to love here especially if you're dealing with the Pisces, the Sagittarius, I do feel like you are definitely going to come out on top in this love situation. Others of you, if it's work, it looks like the wheel is finally turning in your favor here. So for those of you that feel like the past little while has been a little bit shitty, you're going to start seeing things turn. I do feel like some of you are definitely getting karmic justice for past betrayals that you've been through, for past situations. I definitely feel like this could be a relationship that was under one year where you ended up being betrayed by this person. Some of you, this is friendships that you have and you're finally seeing the mask of your friends um, be revealed here because some of you do have people talking behind your back it doesn't look like they can touch you but you are kind of becoming aware of the people that don't really have your best interest that say one thing to your face and another behind your back i'm getting like people have a problem saying things to your face so they always say it to everybody else and some of you you have a best friend or your person and this person was talking, some of you have a best friend that was talking bad about you to your boyfriend. And they, for some reason, didn't think that your boyfriend was going to tell you, but you did, but they did. And some of you, this is just people that talk to people that you're close with and assume that they're not going to tell you. I don't know if they want them to tell you on purpose. Like, I don't know why. It just doesn't make sense as to why these people would do this. But you always end up finding out. With the Eight of Wands, there's a lot of talk going on about you here. And it's a good thing because it is about you evolving. It's about you coming into your place in the world. It's about this being your birthday month and you guys freaking not, you know, having that shell. Those of you that do have a shell, because not every single Leo is out there, right? There's a lot of you guys that are actually very introverted. Um, so I definitely feel like there's this energy where you guys are in the celebratory mood. You guys are feeling really good. You're happy, but somebody's trying to dampen your parade and it's like don't even allow this person's thoughts to affect you in any way because it's just voices it's just voices and at the end of the day the people that say things that are going to get to you it's actually their own insecurities that they're speaking from so ultimately i do feel like you know how they say that haters make a person too. Like if everybody loves you, I don't think you'll get as far as you do when the people, because the people that hate you still watch you. You know what I mean? They still talk about you. So in a way, they definitely um, have a huge part in your success too. You know what I mean? Like there's something about how it kind of like equals out or kind of like levels out. I don't know exactly the word that I'm trying to find right now, but at the end of the day, the people that know you the most aren't going to listen to these people. And as long as you know who you are, like when you get to that level where you are so secure within yourself and you don't need to depend on anybody and you know who you are, then it doesn't matter what anybody says because nothing will ever steer you off your path. As long as you know where you're going, anybody can say whatever they want, but it's not going to touch you. And you guys are coming to that point or you've realized that and you're already at that point. 
definitely a lot of fire energy here so some of you are definitely sparking lovers yeah like and the two of cups again i keep seeing it here so some of you guys are definitely in this energy of falling in love with somebody that you have a very passionate connection with with the lovers it could be a gemini it could also be a sagittarius those are very good matches for you guys um but there is this energy of falling in love here. There is this energy of new. So if you are dating somebody, I do see it going to the lengths that you would like to, especially like this is a good time for you guys to be on dating sites for those of you that are looking to find somebody, because I do see that you're going to have a lot of people and a lot of attention being drawn to you around this time. I always do feel like our birthday months are the months where we go through intensive glow ups, but at the same time, we do a lot of inner um, purging and we end up evolving throughout it because especially a lot of the times like when we have a birthday we think about the years we previously had and you know where we where we're going and what it is that we truly want out of life there's a lot of things that end up um that we end up thinking about around our birthday so i definitely feel like there's a huge glow up but there's also this purging that's going to be happening but at, at the end of the day the inner work that you're going to do is going to be crucial to this glow up that you're going to be having because some of you are glowing from the inside out which is the most beautiful thing possible but yeah somebody's definitely seeing you for all that you are and somebody doesn't like that somebody some of you may have people that are jealous of your love life some of you may have a scorpio x that feels jealous of your love life or a scorpio x that doesn't want you to succeed here i'm pretty much getting all the haters are going to be coming out of the clouds here people that yeah you're gonna be seeing the truth like you're really gonna have the truth illuminated to you you're really gonna see the truth about everybody and for some of you like no I feel like for all of you there's gonna be at least one person where you're gonna be like wow really but to be honest I kind of feel like you already knew you just didn't want to believe it because wow like it stinks so for some of you this is like a mother this could be a father this could be a sibling this could be a partner right like it's somebody that you just wouldn't expect but at the end of the day once you find out then you could just remove that energy out of your life or distance yourself right those that didn't really believe in you are definitely gonna see your worth Some of you are definitely coming into a divine connection here. Some of you, that's like your birthday gift from the heavens is this new love interest that you're going to be like, once you guys go on your first date, you're going to try to like space out the time that you see each other. Like, okay, let's, let's hang out next weekend. So you hang out on Friday. Let's hang out next Friday. Yeah. You're going to end up hanging out Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. And then you might stay over at their house throughout that weekend. It's like the second you guys, you know, have that first conversation you guys just become and the word I'm hearing is obsessed but it's not a gross obsession it's actually more of like an I kind of want to say infatuation because it's the beginning level so it's obviously not love but it's infatuation you become infatuated with each other infatuated with um there's actually this energy where you, there's some sort of motivate motivation that you get from one another there's some sort of thrill that you get from one another this could be an opposite your opposite sign um because there's a lot of qualities within this person that you admire and them with you too and together you're going to bring out the side of each other that was quite hidden actually i really like this for you guys hmm. okay show me what else leo needs to see the six of cups wow so your soulmate is coming in here this is a past life energy that you've had with this person here with the knight of pentacles um this is something that you've been waiting for for a very long time with justice here this could be a libra as well but this is something that you've been wanting for a very long time that's finally coming into fruition for some of you this is actually reconnecting with your first love or with somebody that you've always wanted to come back with and it this is definitely not somebody who had betrayed you um in any way it was really like you either grow you either grew apart you were too young to be in love in the first place or um somebody moved for school or moved for work or just somebody moved in general like their family moved them whatever the case was but it wasn't something that you guys could control right like it's not a liar it's not a cheater it's nothing like that there was no betrayal within this person you just kind of had to separate um and it kind of i'm hearing like if you love someone let it go if they come back they were yours and if they if they don't then they were never yours to begin with right so that's kind of what i'm hearing here so some of you guys are are getting your second chance with the one that got away 
So that's very cute. All right, let's see. What else can we get for Leo? I like this. It makes me smile. Like, I actually have this, uh, yeah. <sighs> it turned into a yawn. You know what? I haven't actually felt this in a while. Wow. I'm just realizing that's not a good thing. But you know when you smile so much that it turns into, uh, like, I, I can't stop. <laughs> You know when you smile so much that your cheeks are hurting up here? That's what I'm getting. Like, you guys are just going to look at each other and just smile and just keep smiling. And with the Six of Cups, it's like that childlike energy, that playful energy. Like, look, this are two little, like, so cute. Like, so, so cute. Um, there's this very nurturing energy between you guys. I do feel like it is, it goes down to, like, um unconditional love like it's an unconditional love where you guys can just be completely naked with one another and not physically but yeah physically too but i just mean you could just bear your heart and soul to this person knowing that you're not going to be judged from the moment you meet them you start telling them things like especially if you're a closed off person and you notice you start telling this person things that you normally would not tell somebody right away like you just feel the need to open up to this person then this is your reading so wait, it's not time yet. Things are being woven. So for some of you guys, I'm hearing that you may actually be dating somebody right now and you may need to wait three weeks is what I'm hearing because you may actually find somebody that's actually truly meant to be with you. And right now you're just, you just have what is best, what is in front of you. What is the best option of what's in front of you? So don't take it to the next level because there's something better coming. Um, and then we have creating heaven on earth it's happening yeah so you're creating the heaven that you've ever wanted within your life within um your love life for those of you where this resonates within your career you're creating heaven on earth because something that you've been working on behind the scenes is finally coming into fruition and you may be worried that there's a lot of people in the same field as you and that there's so much competition but there's something very very unique and bold about you and about the way that you do this that um it's just gonna blow the socks off of everything like you're gonna be like what competition once you get those sales rolling in you're not your any fear is just gonna be removed from you here absolutely amazing here um keep your ideas close to your chest that is the last message that i have for you guys but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this reading if you want a personal reading the links will be in the description box below for that um i do have two intimate readings out so if you're dealing with the pisces or a scorpio the readings for those are the links for those are in Pisces and Scorpio's um, recent video description so if you want to see um, we do a bunch of different messages there um, you'll just have to like see uh, it's really it's amazing though I had to do it I did it on my website so I didn't have to filter it I could say whatever I wanted um, and Taurus is going to be next and then whoever uh, wants it the most so for those of you that want it definitely leave a comment down below because I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna do them for everybody. I think this is gonna be that, or maybe I'll do one for everybody and then see how it goes. But I'm gonna start getting the extended so and I wanna focus more on that. But I did feel called to do this for certain signs. So that's why I'm just seeing who's really interested. But anyways, thank you guys for sitting here with me. And um, I hope that this reading resonates with you. And uh, leave me a comment, a like, share, subscribe if you feel the need to. And for those of you that uh, wanna follow me on Instagram, we are going to be doing 10 question, ten free questions a week, and then you have till tomorrow, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to enter for the free question giveaway. All right, guys, take care. Bye. Or not tomorrow, today, 5 p.m., because this is actually going to be uploaded on Sunday. So 5 p.m. today, Eastern Standard Time to enter the giveaway. Otherwise, you can just do the next one on Saturday. All right, take care, guys.